Gaming is a multi-billion dollar market, with a handful of companies taking the market share. For small developers trying to break into that market, it can be very challenging to say the least. While hard work, top quality games and the right marketing will go far, some developers may choose to use controversial ideas to get into the spotlight. In this list, me and Davey from Just A Boy will be showing you 5 of the most controversial games in history. We would like to give a big shout out to viewer Tristan Galloway for suggesting this video. Number 5, Manhunt 1 and 2. Now the idea behind these games is almost as sick as the gameplay itself. Essentially you're a death row inmate who is presumed dead who is forced by some creepy pervert guy to go on a killing spree for his sexual pleasure. And he's filming the whole thing. This is a stealth horror kind of game where your entire mission is to brutally murder anyone you run into. Due to the graphic nature of these games, they have been banned in several countries and have even been blamed for a murder in the United Kingdom, though the courts and police later said that it probably had nothing to do with the actual murder. Despite all the controversy, the first game has even been nominated for several awards and is ranked number 85 on IGN's top 100 PlayStation 2 games. So, apparently not everyone hated it. Number 4, The Stanley Parable. Released in 2013 for the PC, The Stanley Parable is an interactive storytelling game. Unlike other controversial games, it doesn't really touch upon any bad subjects. For example, there's no rape or excessive violence or even sexual images. So you're probably wondering, why on earth is it even on this list? Well, you see, in an in-game instructional video called Choice, there's an image of a well-dressed white man giving a cigarette to a black child. In the next scene, you can see the man lighting the child on fire. Although the game was generally praised for everything else, these few seconds was enough for it to cause a stir. It received multiple complaints and the developers swiftly removed the clip in an up-and-coming patch. Number 3, JFK Reloaded. Oh boy. This game puts you in the position of Lee Harvey Oswald on November 11th, 1963. Now, if you don't know what that means, let me explain. You're playing the guy who assassinated US President John F. Kennedy back in 1963, something that not a lot of Americans take kindly to. The game was released in 2004 on the 41st anniversary of the assassination and was met with a lot of criticism. Despite this, the developers insist that the game is meant to be educational and to kind of put aside conspiracy theories about what actually happened that day. Even so, the game was definitely not well received as most people are not big fans of killing a beloved American president. Number 2. Super Colobine Massacre I find it hard to believe the developers didn't realize this game would piss many people off. The Columbine High School Massacre is one of the darkest events in American school history. So to base a game on the event where 13 innocent people died isn't a smart idea. The game allows the player to take on the role of the killers Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. The objective of the game is to shoot up the school and kill as many students, teachers and staff as possible. The game was hugely criticized, but the developers were quick to defend their game by saying it's just a form of art. If the developers just wanted publicity, then they sure did get it. It was featured on numerous news outlets and TV shows. I guess it's just as the saying goes, there's no such thing as bad publicity. And finally, number one, playing history two, slave trade. Shooting up schools and gunning down US presidents are very dark and sensitive topics, but slavery is easily one of the darkest pieces of humanity's past. So let's turn it into a game! Ha! No, don't do that. The game attempts to show what slavery was like back in the late 17th and early 18th century, but the dark tones and the cartoon style of the game just don't mesh well and it comes across as pretty offensive. And on top of that, there was a Tetris minigame where you use slaves to try and fit them into a ship properly. Yeah, you tried to play Tetris with human slaves. That pissed some people off. The developers may claim that this game is attempting to show people what it was like for slaves, but it really just came across as grossly offensive and just downright immature. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching and if you'd like to see more of Davey from Just A Boy then make sure to check out his channel in the description below where he does awesome top 10 lists. 
If you'd like to see the second part of this video, then hop over to his channel where we show you another 10 most controversial video games. And remember, until next time, feed your mind.